Well, hello, and welcome to the Cosmic Kerbal. Redone. Redo. Re-something. I don't know. I changed it all up, but yeah. This is this is the new Cosmic Kerbals. Alright, I'm just rambling. I'm just a rambling man. Just a rambling, rambling stand. And think you stand the man. Here's the tech tree. Some Kerbals got procedural wings, some more airplane parts, and small sawed rockets. And then the low altimetry scan contract is complete with 75%. Here's a nice little look at it. I mean, there's still some holes, but 75% we were able to cash in on the contract. On the pad and ready, the MUN relay is ready for liftoff. Countdown is away, and it is also away. It will not only be a relay of the MUN, but the first thing to orbit the MUN. All I need is nominal. Roll program, nominal. We are go. Engines go. Lift off, go. Insertion, good. Path, nominal. Like and subscribe as a go. Smash that icon. Hit the bell. Be notified. Don't miss out on epic Kerbal content. Fairing separations, go. Separation, nominal. And look at our payload now it has reached space. Don't know if you've seen that gibberish up there in the corner, but the script doesn't like that. I had to do it manually. And there's engine cutoff and separation. Our payload is all alone, making its orbit. It had to pitch up with engine cutoff orbit as a cheese. The flight plan from TMI to Munner orbit. And then a little time warp to the burn. TMI. Trans Munnar insertion burn is complete and it just has to float its way up to the Mun and then get ready to insert the orbit. Orbital insertionist go. Craft reorientation go. Craft reorientated nominal. Starting burn 3, 2, 1. There is the orbit. Let's go. Orbit. Nominal. Orbit. Achieve. And the Kerbals have put the first satellite in orbit of the Mun. A world's first milestone. The recent accomplishments of our space program have attracted contributions from numerous organizations. We have entered orbit of the Mun. 124,800 Kerb bucks. Orbit the Mun. Huzzah! There is no such thing as the final frontier for 132,000 Kerb bucks and nine science and 18 rotations. They are wasting no time as they get right into the Polar Mun Scan Dual Purpose Relay. Dual Purpose for not only will it add to the relay network in a polar orbit, it is also equipped with the low altimetry, I don't really know how to say that word, scan. You know that same one that they just finished up with Kerbin? So scientists can study the Mun surface better. Looks as though it's reached a time fairing separation. Nominal. Moving right into Miko and orbit assertion burn. Main engine shutdown and booster separation. As you can see, they added a third stage, thinking they would need more for polar orbit and due to the added weight of the scanner. Moving right along to the trans Munar insertion burn. The pug second stage is expelled. Then on to that new, the next maneuver to put it into a polar orientation. But wait, why did the Delta V line just go red? Oh no, no. It would appear the Kerbals experience boil off for the first time of the cryogenic liquid oxygen. It does manage arid shores and arid highland from the site experiment. They can hear they have reached a Mun flyby. And Duna and the JNS Hue Planet Lindor, which I've been calling the chocolate planet because it's Lindor chocolate. At some point, these Kerbals will be fine out. I mean, Mimnus is meant ice cream, right? So why not have a chocolate planet too? And a look at its final orientation. I guess it can still help the relay network. Thank you. Goodbye.